don't really know how to do these recording things, but my name is Shirley Ardell Mason, and I am one of Dr. Wilbur's patients. I'm 30 years old, and I'm diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder. I guess I'll start from the beginning. I never really had childhood that every kid dreams of. I mean, I guess you could say I've had some good days, but I've mostly had bad days, and those, those were just bad. I came to see Dr. Wilbur because I've recently been having blackouts and emotional breakdowns, and I've realized it's because of the recent death of my mother. My mother was a monster, and the death of this monster has made all these horrible memories return. And I don't know if I should feel relieved or devastated, and that's what's tearing me apart. My life did get better ten years ago, though. I was released from therapy. I became a substitute teacher at Columbia University. But after her death, I feel like my mind and my heart and my body are all telling me to feel differently about it. I felt torn like this in my whole childhood. I never knew whether I should have loved or hated my mother, and as a child, I was hard, because I would try so much to make her love me, and I inevitably still loved her. That's when I developed multiple personalities. They grew on me, became me, they took away the troubles I faced every day. One specific memory I have right before most of my blackouts is the time my mother locked me in the trunk of our BMW when we went for a drive. I could hear her sadistic laughs from the front seat. I never, I never understood why she laughed. And so we pulled back at home. She released me and she said, Sweetheart, how would you like a gingerbread cookie? And, and that's what confused me the most because I didn't know if that kindness was genuine or it was just part of her games. That's what I needed my multiples for to take the blame, the pain, and the hatred from me. I became twelve different minds in one helpless body. Some of my multiples weren't afraid of my mother, though. Some were strong and could handle the abuse, but my body always had to withstand it. My minds loved my mother, but my body didn't. And I know this healing process is going to take time to overcome, and I don't want my childhood and my mother's death to run my whole life. I need to let go. I want to let go. And that's why I'm here. Not, not to fix my past, but to find myself.